Hi guys, I'm Jane. I'm Rajit. I'm Hasan. I'm Nadu. I'm Bankar. I am Purushottam. I'm Deep. I'm Bankar. I'm Sankar. I'm Dusha. We are Code Drifters. Today we are going to talk about Quick Find. We are going to focus on Components, Union Find, Connected Components, Union, Quick Find Explanation, and Quick Find Implementation. So I am going to explain about Union Commands. As you can see here in the diagram, there are two objects, 1 and 2. So now I am going to give the command Union 1, 2. So as you can see here, after I give the command 1, 2, both of those objects are going to get connected using one single line. What is a connected query? Connected query is to check whether two objects are connected. And the answer is given in a boolean. So when we look at this example, we can see whether uh, 8 and 9 are connected. So is it true or false? It's true because 8 and 3 is connected, 3 and 4 Connected and 4 and 9 is connected. Therefore, 8 and 9 are connected. If we consider objects 1 and 2 and check whether it is connected or not, it is not. So, uh, connected 1, 2 is false and connected 8, 9 is true. So, what is a connected component? Maximum set of objects which are mutually connected are connected components. In this example, 1, 4, 5 is a connected component. Similarly, 2, 3, 6, 7 is a connected component. 0, standalone node, is also considered as a connected component. Connected components can be represented using curly braces. Now I am going to explain about quick find eager approach. It contains uh, an array of IDs. And now I am going to explain about find command. The find command checks whether P and Q have the same ID. According to our example, we can see that the index of 0 and the index of 5 and the index of, a, of 6 having the same ID which is 0. And the second example is the index of 1, index of 2 and index of 7 also having the same ID which is 1. And the third example is uh, the index of 3 and index of 4 and index of 8 and index of 9 they are also having the same ID which is 8 Now let's look at the quick find demo Union command To merge components containing P and Q we should replace the ID of the P by ID of the Q Today I will be showing the demo of quick find as you can see in the slide, a diagram is shown. In this diagram, three separately connected components are displayed. 0, 5, 6, 1, 2, 7, 8, 3, 4, 9. They, they are separate connected components. You can see 6 and 1, 2 and 3, 7 and 8, and so on. They are not connected. So in this demo, we are going to find the union 6, 1. So in other words, we are going to connect 6 and 1. So, what is the first step in this connection process? First, we must make sure 6 and 1 they are not already connected. So, in other words, the ID of 6 and 1 they cannot be the same. The ID of 6 is 0, the ID of 1 is 1. So, they are not the same, therefore, they are not connected. So, how are we going to connect this? To connect this, we are going to make the ID of 6 and all the entries containing the ID of 6 to be equal to that of id of 1 so in other words all the zeros are converted to 1 in the array as the id this slide shows the certain diagram of the connection and this slide shows how, how the id has changed after the connection has been made as you can see, this is the quick find implementation. There is a global array named ID which contains integer numbers. In the quick find constructor, it takes in an integer and initializes the ID array to that size. 
then it iterates to the array and puts IDs that are equal to indexes in the array. Then comes the connected method. What this does is it takes in two integers named P and Q and checks whether the both IDs in P and Q are equal and returns whether it is true or false. Then comes the union method and it takes in two integers P and Q and store the IDs related to that P and Q in separate local integer variables. That is done to make sure the incoming values doesn't change. Then it iterates to the array to find the ID which is equal to the P ID and then it replaces it with the Q ID. So my part is to cover about modeling the connections. First, we assume is connected to is an equivalence relation. So keeping that in our mind, we are going to the first one that is reflexive. Uh, in reflexive component, P is connected to P. The second one is symmetric. In symmetric, if component P is connected to component Q, then Q is connected to P as well. The third one is transitive. In transitive, there are three components, uh, P, Q, R. So, if uh, component P is connected to component Q and Q is connected to component R, then P is connected to R as well. Now, let's see about the three main cases during the execution of an algorithm. Number one, best case. Number two, worst case. Number three, average case. In the best case, it is the shortest time taken during the execution of an implementation of an algorithm. In the second one, the worst case is the longest time that is taken during the execution of an implementation. And the average case is the average time in between the worst case and the best case. Most probably, every execution which happens in an algorithm it belongs to average cases. Together, we are...